yeah, baby. This week is gonna be all about Jack. That's right. Mmm, this toy's got all the right moves that'll get you old dog. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Jack. <clears throat> Sorry, I, uh, don't know where that came from. Anyway, this week we're testing out the treat holding Jack from the Busy Buddy toy line by PetSafe. It's definitely one of the more interesting toys out there, not just in looks, but in design as well. PetSafe specializes in dog toys that include some kind of treat added within the toy to keep your dog's interest. This particular toy is supposed to look like a Jack from the childhood game called Jacks, which for you millennials out there is this game involving bouncing a ball and collecting little metal cow chop looking things called Jacks. Uh, the toy itself unscrews, allowing you to insert a couple rawhide chewy ring things which are included with the toy. When your dog has somehow managed to chew up all four included rings, you can purchase refills for about five bucks, which come in various flavors. Just make sure you get the right size. Speaking of which, this is actually the large model of the toy for dogs over 50 pounds. A bit large for my dog, but hey, she's making it work. So, let's hand this fascinating toy over to Story and see how it does after a week's abuse. Will the included rawhide rings last the test? Is the plastic strong enough to survive? Will this dog toy be confused as a sexual aid? Let's find out. As you can see, the toy made the week-long test without as much as a dent. The funny part is, I didn't even know this thing had a vibration setting until this morning. I mean, what's the point of a vibrating dog toy? Does it clean their gums or something? Hold on one sec. What? What do you mean that's not the toy? Oh, sh**. As you can see, the toy's been pretty well loved, though not according to the toy's design. I can tell you right off the bat that I cannot recommend this toy. The safety concerns are just too high, so it gets a 1 out of 5. As Story was chewing on this toy, bits of nylon were just coming off in little pieces. They aren't likely to cause much harm, but it's definitely not something you want your dog digesting, so I had to really limit play with this toy. For design, I gave the Jack a 3, but it was a hard one to judge. Partly because the whole rawhide thing didn't work, but also because I purchased the wrong size. Had I went down a size to fit Story's weight bracket, the toy may have worked out a little better, but I still feel as if the little arms or legs or whatever you want to call them hindered Story's access to the chewy middle bits. It definitely looks interesting, but it just doesn't work well in the real world. Longevity is also somewhat hard to determine. While the toy will likely last for months, I had to give it a 2 because it only took a day or two before shreds of nylon started coming off of it. That said, the rawhide part will likely last a long time as it's well protected. I felt kinda bad for Story because she couldn't get the rawhides off, so I just threw her one. Now I just need to modify my Spider-Man disc shooter to work with these, and I've got a brand new toy. And that leaves us with a price point, which sadly continues this poor trend and receives a 2. Had I got the medium, as the weight bracket suggested I do, it would have been $9.95 on Chewy.com, but I purchased a large size which doubles the price to a whopping $19.95. I honestly don't remember spending that much on the toy, but I guess I thought it was such an interesting toy design that I had to give it a go. And for those keeping track at home, the final verdict is a 2 out of 5 bones. While unique in design, the price was simply too much and the safety factor is a big concern. For these reasons, I cannot recommend this toy to anyone. There are, however, other forms of this toy which seem to allow better access to the raw hides, and you'll surely see another one on here at some point. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where we'll end this week's episode. We hope you've enjoyed the series so far. If you have, subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll always know when we have a new episode released. Head on down to the comments and let us know which toys you'd like to see story test out in a future episode, and while you're down there, slap that like button. It really helps us out. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next test. Have a good week, and thanks for watching.